Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use expert mode to install Stevenson's Rocket in a dual boot configuration with Windows. Uh, these instructions should be also used if you want to install uh, any kind of non-standard disk setup such as installing onto a second hard disk um, because the automatic install, which is the standard installer, will erase anything it finds on the first hard disk on the system. So if you want to in install onto a second hard disk or install alongside Windows, then you should follow this video. So with your uh, Stevenson's Rocket install media in, the, uh, in your DVD drive or with the USB stick inserted, we're going to reboot the system and boot from that drive. If you're using a Windows 8 computer, please ensure that you've switched off Secure Boot in your firmware settings because you can't load SteamOS on a system with Secure Boot enabled. So you see here we're going to boot from the CD drive in our virtual machine. And from this menu we're going to choose Expert Install rather than Automated Install. Now I'd strongly recommend that you view my other video first uh, regarding installation via the Automatic Install mode because it will provide you with some of the background to what we're about to do. Uh, essentially expert mode uses the same configuration files as automatic install but it does not automatically uh, hit continue at the end of every step that's pre-configured. So the language for example is pre-configured to English but you have the option to change it. So for now we're just going to go with the defaults that they've provided. So choose some language. Let the installer finish loading. Now this is the screen that you need to pay attention to because if you don't pay attention you'll blow away all of your important data. What it's showing here is what it would like to do with finish highlighted. What it wants to do is delete all your data. So you see we have a 100 gig disk and it's erased all of it and replaced it with SteamOS. You don't want to do that. That's not what you want if you want to dual boot. So what we're going to do is click or double click on undo changes and all of a sudden it looks very different. Here we're showing an NTFS partition taking up most of the disk. What happened there was that because it uses the same configuration as the automatic install it automatically configured the disk to blow away everything on the first drive which isn't what you want. So you hit undo to take it back to how it was before it made those suggested changes and from here we can manually fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on the main NTFS drive, resize it, uh, previous changes must be written, that's fine, there aren't any previous changes so that's not harmful and we're going to resize the Windows partition down from 100 gig to 50. Uh, please note that resizing NTFS partitions is something you can't do currently with Valve SteamOS. You need to use a Stevenson's Rocket installer to resize your NTFS partitions or uh, any other partition resizing software of your choice uh, from outside the installer, but to do it from inside the installer requires Stevenson's Rocket. 
So you see now we have this big chunk of free space. And what we're going to do is set up the partitions the same way that Valve would usually have them in this free space area. So double click on the free space, create a new partition, make it 10 gigabytes, put it at the beginning, and these defaults should be correct. So use as ext4 journaling file system, mount point slash, and the rest should just be default. So done. We create another partition, another 10 gig, at the beginning, ext4, we double click on mount point, enter manually and change that to forward slash boot, forward slash recovery. If you don't create the boot recovery partition and the next partition we're going to create, then you will not be able to use recovery mode in SteamOS, and if you break things, you're going to have to reinstall the system from scratch. So we're done with the recovery partition. We create a third partition. These 10 gigabyte sizes are what Valve use, so that's why I'm using them here. So we're going to change the use as to swap area, which is uh, Windows uses a file for, uh, for swap. Uh, Linux tends to use a partition for swap. So we don't actually need that swap space for running out of memory. It's part of how the recovery system is configured. It needs some swap space while it's working. You see we have this remaining 27 gig of free space. We're going to create a partition on all that space with slash home. We hit done. Now you see we've created these four new partitions after resizing down the NTFS partition. It's now hit, safe to hit finish. And installation will continue. Now I'm going to stop the recording at this point because from this point onwards everything should be the same uh, for the next few minutes as in my automatic installation video which I already recommended you should watch. So there's going to be a, a jump in the video uh, as, uh, as I cut out the, the useless portion from the middle of the video. Okay, uh, hopefully this hasn't screwed up in the cut. Uh, you're being asked a question here which is largely useless uh, but is a holdover of how the installer works, uh, asking which sets of software to install. Leave both of these ticked and just hit continue. It'll carry on with the package installation. Okay, and we're back. So SteamOS is completely finished installing and we're here at the login screen. So what you care about is still being able to run Windows. From that, we hit exit and restart the computer. What this will do is bring up the Grub Boot Manager, which is the boot manager used by Steam, which shows a list of boot options. At the top is the default option, which is SteamOS, you see it's added an option here. This will be either called Windows Boot Manager or Windows Vista Loader, depending on whether you're running Windows on a UEFI or a BIOS install. But if we hit that option, what we see is Windows starting up normally. And there you are, login screen as normal. So hopefully this has helped you out as a video, and thanks for watching.